Hello everyone. In this video I show you how to use field symbols in ABAP. Field symbols are actually pointers. That means that field symbols do not require memory themselves, but point to the memory address of another object. In my example uh, today I will uh, declare structure. We create a table type. Then we declare an internal table with the new table type and we fill, we fill some data into the internal table. And then we declare the field symbol. So let's start with the type, with the structure. And here I write types, begin of type data. And I use here two fields, first name type of string and second the field age type of integer. Then I write end of tie data. Next we create a table type with the new structure. I write types tie it itab type standard table of tie data with the fourth key. Then we create the internal table. We declare the internal table with data it itab type tie it ITAP with our table type. And next we fill some uh, data to the internal table. So I write IT ITAP is value tie IT ITAP and the first record I write here name is Tom, age 20. Second record, His name is Eva, and age 30. Next step is the field symbol. But a short recap, we declared the structure, then the table type with the new structure, and we filled some data to the, our internal table. And now the field symbol, it's FS line type type data, the type of our structure. And then we uh, do a loop here and we assign our field symbol. So I write loop at it itab assigning fs line. And then we write uh, the data of the internal table. So we write right fs line name and fs line h. Then we close the loop with end loop. Okay, uh, pretty print. So that means we do a loop over our internal table and first loop, the first record of the internal table is assigned to our field symbol and we write the data to the GUI. So activate the code. We set a breakpoint here and we run the code. 
Okay. So we are uh, by the loop statement. So let's double click on the internal table. We see here our two records. And then we press the key F5. So we are assigned our field symbol with the first line of uh, the internal table. And the field symbol is filled with the data of the first line. And if we press F5 again, we uh, we do the second loop or the loop to the second line and the data of the second line is assigned to the field symbol. And if we, we see the, the data of the internal table. And if we want to change uh, uh, the field symbol here, for example, the age. But uh, no, let's do this in the debugger. So activate the code again and run the program. So we are in the debugger. Let's uh, do the double click on the internal table. And I press the key F5, one step in the debugger. So the field symbol is assigned with the first record. And now let's change the age of Tom. So we type here 30 and we press OK. Then we go back to the debugger, to the desktop view. And let's have a look to the internal table and we see the, the record here is already changed. Because we changed the field symbol and the field symbol points to the line of the internal table. Okay, so let, let's go ahead with the key F8 and we see here the change data from Tom. Okay, another way to, uh, uh, to, to assign the field symbol is the inline declaration. And this is a loop at IT ITAP assigning field symbol and I use here another name for my field symbol, fs inline. I close my loop with end loop and I copy the write statement above to this loop and I change the name of the field symbol here, inline ready print and let's uh, activate and run the code and we see the content of my internal table is displayed this is the inline declaration so if you uh, work with uh, field symbols uh, you have to check if the that the field symbol is already assigned if it's not, I show you in this example, I declare a second one and I want to uh, display the content of the second uh, field symbol. But this field symbol is not assigned in my code. So let's activate. The syntax is okay. So we have no error here. But if we run the code and we want to uh, use an unsigned field symbol, we get an, we get a dump here. Okay, so um, that was a short example how to use field symbols in ABAP. I hope you liked the video. I would be happy if you give me a thumbs up. You can also leave me a comment here. Also subscribe to my channel. I would be happy and I hope to see you again in one of my next videos. Thank you and see you soon.